Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a gaming intro animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look at the preview and get started. Alright, great. So we're going to be creating this entire animation inside the edit page. We won't be touching the fusion page. We'll be using the glitch overlay. You can find it inside uh, YouTube. If you search for glitch overlay, uh, just download any one that you think suits best and just import it inside DaVinci Resolve and your logo as well. You'll need a logo. Uh, great. So let's get going. Uh, I'm going to start off by going to the effects and under generators, you will have a solid color. Just drag that in. And here we can just change the color. Let's just pick a different color. And go for 101010 and click on OK. Then let's drag in this solid color again, put it at the top, and uh, we're going to change the color. And uh, let's just use a different color for this and go for a. Yeah, let's use red for now. Click on OK. And then I want to create a bar for that. I got I to gotta go to settings and change the crop top and crop bottom. And just make sure that this is in the center. There's an option over here somewhere uh, where you can enable the title safe area. Yeah, under view, you can see that we have the safe area. Make sure that this is turned on. Uh, you'll get the cross here, you know, the safe area where you, it will help you to align things in the middle. But sometimes it doesn't work. As you can see, I have uh, turned it on, but it's still not working. I don't know why. It's still not fixed, I guess. I had the same issue previously. It just doesn't work out of the box. But anyways, uh, let's say this is shape is in the center properly. Then we can just crop the left. I'm going to set the crop left to around uh, 50. Crop right to 50 as well. I think that's a bit too less. Let's set this to 100 and 100. Yeah, and then we can start creating our animation, the loading animation. For that, we have to go to the very first frame. Let's create a create frame on crop right. And we will just increase this value until this shape disappears. Then you can move forward in time. Uh, by the way, if you want to see the keyframes, you can just simply click on this icon to view your keyframes. Then you can just move forward a little bit in timeline and just change the crop right value. Just move the slider to the left until you just see the shape uh, growing to the right. And this will be our second keyframe. I'm going to copy this keyframe and just move forward a few frames and paste this keyframe over there. Control V to paste it. And if you check the animation now, we have an animation and then it's going to stop. Right. Um, so after this keyframe, let's move forward, maybe 10 or 12 frames. Again, change the crop, right? Let's just increase that. And again, I'm going to copy and paste this keyframe. So basically these two keyframes have no animation because the values are same. So if you take a look at the animation, it's going to load, stop, load, and then stop again. So this is the, the we're going to repeat this process until we reach uh, the end over here. So yeah, let's just do that. Right, something like that. So if you take a look at it, this is how your animation will look. Looks kind of, uh, you know, loading bar animation. Uh, great. So then we can add in our text, go to titles, then we can we can just drag the text plus over here. The simple text effect won't work uh, for what we are going to do. Uh, let me just show you. If I just drag the simple text over here, the basic text effect, then what we want to do is we're going to animate the, the text over here. We can see there is a keyframe for it, but it doesn't work. So for example, if I'm at the very first frame, set the change the title to let's say it says a over here i'm going to activate the keyframe and after a few frames i want the text to display b and uh, if i go to the previous frame then you can see that the a text disappears it's not there it's gonna say still stay uh, at b uh, so yeah this the simple text doesn't work for this we are going to be using the text plus and now if i do the same thing in the first frame i'm going to set the text to a and then after a few frames, we will set it to B. Then it's going to remember the previous text. You can see it says A and then it switches to B. Uh, 
so yeah, this is what we're going to use. So let me just reset this. And at the very first frame, uh, let's uh, change the title. And actually, I'm going to start somewhere over here, the, the text plus. Let's start it from here. And yeah, we can just, uh, let's just zoom in a little bit. Maybe something like that. Yeah, over here we can start. And the first text will be initializing with the three dots. And then you can pick any cool font for this. Um, I'll use kind of a terminal font. I think that will look nice. I have a lot of fonts, but I'm not sure if I have a terminal font. Oh, we have uh, this one called JetBrains. This is a free font. You can just search it up. You can download this for free and has uh, all these different uh, font styles. So yeah, let's just pick italics and then just change, reduce the size. And I'm going to also change the color. Let's use the same red color. If it's not able to pick the color, then you can just click in the color over here and choose pick screen color. And you can just pick any color from here or you can, in our case, it's the red color that we use over here. And so let's just use that. Uh, great. So then we can uh, change the position so we can go to layout and under center x y we will change the y value so let's see uh, we're gonna keep it under the bar over here like that and yeah then we we are going to animate the text so let's go back to the text tab over here activate the keyframe then let's jump to the next frame or the next keyframe under our solid color over here we can see our next keyframe over here um, so let's just change the text so instead of saying initializing we can say connecting to database and yeah, let's move forward and create another text over here. Um, so this time we'll say syncing. Let's move forward. Finalizing. The next one will say logging in. And the final text over here, I guess. I will still have two more over here. So this one will say done. And then it's right somewhere in the middle. I'm going to say welcome All right so if you take a look at it this is what our animation will look okay that looks great all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the animation so for that let me just show you if i go to effects adjustment clip just drag it and drop it on top and on this adjustment clip i can change the uh, change the yaw over here. So if I just change the yaw, you can see what it does. You can create a cool camera angle to this. I can zoom in to this. And yeah, pretty much I can animate these two properties. So I can go ahead and create a keyframe on zoom and yaw. And then at the last frame, I want to reset it back to zero. And this one will be we're going to reset this to one. All right. So if you take a look at it, this is how it is going to look. Uh, great. So on this adjustment clip, you can apply some more effects. You can um, go crazy with this. Um, you can apply any kind of effect on this. I would search for scan lines effect. So search for scan lines, apply it on this adjustment clip. And uh, I'm going to go to effects over here, open effects, scan lines, and set the line frequency to the maximum value over here. And these lines are going to be horizontal. And then you can also uh, turn up the red and the green offset to have the RGB looking uh, result over here. Alternatively, you can also, if you don't want to do that over here, you can also add in a prism blur, which is another cool effect. Let's just apply it on this adjustment clip. Make sure that the prism blur is at the top. Followed by the scan lines and in the prism blur, I'm going to decrease the blur strength, increase the aberration distance. It's kind of hard to see it right now, uh, but let's just disable the scan lines for a moment so that we can focus on this prism blur. Now yeah, we can change the aberration strength, increase this quite a bit and let's just reduce the distance something like that so that we have this rgb uh, thing going on over here the next thing what we are going to do is let's just enable scan lines over here 
I'm going to uh, create another scan lines effect on this adjustment clip. And on the second scan lines effect, we use the same value, line frequency to 20. And the angle, I'm going to set this to 90. Right, something like that. So that we have this pixelated screen look. And uh, if you think the intensity is too much, you can always go back to the global blend over here and uh, reduce the to the amount of blend. So maybe set this to 0.5 on both these scan lines over here. Uh, something like that. So if you just play this, how it is going to look. Let's just view this in full screen. Yeah, that looks good. So let's just exit out of this. Now what we can do is we can add in some overlays. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this glitch overlay over here. Uh, and I'm going, to, I'm going to just pick some uh, point in this overlay. For example, this one over here. Let's just mark the in point, move forward a little bit and mark the out point. And I can just drag this portion and put it at the top. And I'm going to click on this clip. And under Inspector in the video section, I can change the composite mode and uh, change it to any other composite mode, such as uh, Darken. Let's see how that looks. And that looks good. Then you can hold the Alt key and just create another copy of it. And instead of Darken, this time we can choose uh, a, a different blend mode, such as. Let's see, there are a lot of options to choose. You can pick any one. So this um, this is quite random. You can like uh, pick any one, like for example, color dodge, and I can adjust the length of this glitch, make it really shorter in length, and then you can also kind of uh, flip it. Uh, yeah, you can do that and just see how that looks. So it's gonna be a quick glitch animation like so and then finally we can just drag in our logo let's just resize it something like that and again uh, i'm going to actually uh, transfer this adjustment clip to this logo as well so if i just stretch it out like so you can see that we are that we can then split this clip uh, so we have another adjustment clip over here let's move it on top and uh, on this adjustment clip we can uh, Go ahead and change the effects if you want to do so. So I'm going to hit Ctrl F to go to the full screen mode and see how it looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't want to mess with the settings, but if you if you think that it's too um, too much, you can uh, always uh, decrease the global blend in the scan lines, or you can even uh, reduce the opacity under the adjustment clip as well. So yeah, you can do that. If it, Control F to go to full screen mode and you can see how it looks. Uh, but I kind of like the previous uh, version, so I'm going to keep it like that. Right, so then after the loading happens, it will uh, display our logo. But then it looks pretty bland. I'm going to apply this uh, glitch overlay. So I just Let's go to another portion over here, maybe this one, mark the endpoint and this one will be our end. Let's just drag that in, put it at the top like so. And make sure that it is uh, in between these two clips. Somewhere over here. So then it will just uh, transition to your uh, logo with this cool glitch in between. Uh, of course, you can change the blend modes here as well. Uh, so I think that looks cool. Uh, you can see then we can just uh, hold the alt key and uh, create a copy of this glitch move it forward and you can change the blend mode something else for example add and you can also um, change the logo as well you can change the transform of your logo so under in the logo layer over here you can just uh, split it maybe by two or three frames and in this section what we're going to do is we can flip uh, the the uh, rotation of our logo and you can also maybe change the position slightly or maybe rotation a little bit so it's going to be a quick um, animation so let me just play this you can see it's going to be real quick and uh, kind of random so you can you know do that as well i can i'm going to hold the alt key and just create a copy 
of this glitch and uh, this time instead of add i'm going to use uh, let's use a different one i'm going to go with hard mix that looks pretty cool and uh, quite random that's going to be really small so i'm going to shorten the length something like that and again i'm going to do the same thing split the clip and change the change these settings under under zoom and uh, let's just increase the zoom amount and change the clip right there and maybe change the position so if you play this this is how it's gonna look right and yeah you can actually i'm gonna just move this to a new track and i can add in a text to this so let's just search for uh, the simple text plus we'll do in this one so let's just drag that in and uh, type in your text so let's just type in all right so after you type your text you can go ahead and change the font um, you can use the same font JetBrains mono and uh, yeah you can pick any different font style and increase the tracking amount i'm going to reduce the size and change the position as well and go ahead and change the color as well so let's just use this big screen color option and use the same red that is in the logo yeah there we go so if you take a look at it make sure the adjustment clip is on top so i can just uh you know bring the text down and adjustment clip will go on top we, so that we have the same scan lines and the prism blur on this so i can uh, disable the prism blur i think that it is a bit too intense for this or maybe i can change the strength amount let's use a really subtle value for this and increase the aberration distance so let's take a look at it there we go so you can repeat the process duplicate the glitch uh, overlay over here and play around with the different uh, blending mode and go ahead and change the rotation and everything that you can uh, so that you have a more random animation right so one final thing that you can do is which is completely optional you can add some noise to this uh, so if you open the adjustment clip in the fusion page uh, then you can after this media in one search for noise actually it's gonna be grain so search for grain click on add and it's gonna apply grain on your on the entire thing even the background and on the logo uh, then you can increase the power if you think uh, the grain is too less go back and forth between the edit page and the fusion page you can even hit ctrl f to go to full screen mode and see how the animation looks yeah i think that looks nice so i'm quite happy with that so i think that wraps up this tutorial thank you so much for watching this video if this video is helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one